Hi guys, I have Macy with me here today. This is my old babysitter, but she cuts hair now. And she's gonna give us some tips and show us how to curl your hair. Yep, we're gonna do beach waves or beachy waves, however you want to say it. She I... just cut my hair, by the way. So I have a fresh haircut. I'm gonna start with some Joyco liquid to powder texturizing spray just to hold those curls. Because your hair doesn't hold curl, right? Mine, mine does. My hair is pretty fine. Right, it's not as thick as it looks. Yeah. I feel like it holds curl. I feel like it's, it's it, someone that has really long hair like you. I, it's either you or <laughs> someone else. I'm going to section off the hair. All right, I'll section it into two, well, three sections. I leave one down. Right. And then I'm gonna use a heat buffer by Matrix just to protect the hair from heat. And then I take about one inch sections and using a, you can use any like one inch curling iron or sometimes for short, shorter hair, I like half an inch and then I take the ends of the straightener. So is one inch good for longer hair? Yeah, one inch um, is usually my go-to for all hair lengths. Okay. And you just do what we call figure eight curl. Figure eight curl, I just take it like this. And usually the first couple, especially near the face, are away from it and then you can go in and switch it up to give it more texture. A lot of people can't use curling irons. Maybe it's when you're doing it on yourself? I don't know. Well, I, I don't know, because you use that on yourself, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. I can use them all. The only reason I don't use a wand is because I get too lazy and my arms hurt. <laughs> oh, so this help? This is easier? Yeah. So when you're curling the hair, point the curling iron up and then you twist to get that figure eight. Um, because this is close to her face, I point it away from her face and I always do the first two or three away from the face and then I start um, switching it up every other one. And then, so it points up and then I just twist it like an eight. Really, I don't know if anyone else calls it that. I just feel like yeah. it's the easiest. I like to take fairly big sections so you do get that beach wave loose curl. Okay. Because if you take too small, you're going to get a curlier oh, really? curl. <laughs> I just, cause I like, when I'm doing beach waves, I like it to be kind of sloppy, I guess. Yeah. I use any hairspray, medium, light, any of it. This is a Joyco shaping and finishing spray. Uh, a lot of name brands like Matrix, Joyco, all of them, you can actually find at TJ Maxx, which is where I found this one. Very nice. Um, instead of just going in and spraying, 
and I never take a brush to this. It drives me nuts when people take brushes to this. So if you're one of those people, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't brush it out at all? I take it with my fingers. Uh, brush I always take with it brush. with my fingers and I spray it up just to get, because you, if you spray up into here, it gives you that volume. Hmm. Does the brush just totally ruin the curls? I feel like it does. And I feel like I have so much more control. Yeah, I feel like it just ruins it and I just have so much more control over it when I use my hands. I do a lot. I can feel that lifting. Yeah. I definitely need to do that. I never concentrate in this area. Yeah, that's one thing I definitely learned is like, you can concentrate a lot. Also, if you get like a dry shampoo texturizing product, you can also, if you don't want to use a hairspray, and that will work? Yeah, you can kind of spray it up in here and it will texture and lift, but also give you, it's still, it's not like sticky or. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I like this. What was that? This is the Joyco. Joyco. And I got it at TJ Maxx. Okay, I like that one. I just need you to keep doing this for 30 minutes and then go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to pick up the kids. So relaxing. <laughs> I have till three. Smells good. Pretty. I feel like my curls have never felt this like tight and good before. <laughs> but maybe that's because my hair is just so long. I felt like it just dragged me down, but I, the wand doesn't hold it as tight. Yeah, no. It really doesn't. Sometimes I'll take this like just to smooth it down. Ah, see, I have, I have one of those types of brushes. I don't do it very often. It's just like if something needs like smooth or something. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash this back so I can learn how to use the clamp. <laughs> like I said, at TJ Maxx, they have name brand everything. Like they have hot tools, they have You got that at TJ Maxx? Not this one, but a white one. That's hot tools. Oh, wow. What, what's the difference? The pink spins? No, which is pink. Okay, okay. Yeah, no. Um, they have this, they have, they have hot tools, Chi. Um, um, oh. I get a lot of my products in there. Even like purple shampoo. Yeah. Like good brands, purple shampoo. Maybe you should do that before three o'clock. <laughs> but oh man, Brian won't be happy. <laughs> so how much is that at TJ Maxx? Twenty. What? Mm -hmm. So TJ Maxx. Yeah. Twenty dollars. Well, and the like, so much. I don't use a lot of product either. Yeah. It's yeah. Like it just it feels like it's lifted. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I always do. I never really, I rarely ever spray down. I always like spray it into the hair and lift up. Yeah, no matter that's, what what, I'm doing. that's what I need to do. So I hope that you guys were able to learn some tricks from Macy. Let us know if you have any questions or comments, but I could leave your info mm -hmm. below. If you're in the Indianapolis area, she works at a salon and Fishers, or she's willing to travel. Like I said, she came to my house to cut my hair and style my hair. <laughs> I have even come to your house for lashes. Yeah. To do your lashes. That's right, yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.